Prophet Amos continued. Oh, seven, sorry. A vision of locusts. And what I tell you before, the locusts are a parable for the angels in the heavens. It's prophecies for the angels coming from the heavens during judgment. The Sovereign Lord showed me a vision. I saw him preparing to send a vast swarm of locusts over the land. This was after the king's share had been harvested from the fields and as the main crop was coming up. In my vision, the locusts ate every, every green plant in sight. Then I said, O oh, Sovereign Lord, please forgive us, or we will not survive, for Israel is so small. So the Lord re relented from this plan. I will not do it, he said. A vision of fire. Then the Sovereign Lord showed me another vision. I saw him preparing to punish his people with great fire, with a great fire. The fire had burned up the depths of the sea and was devouring the entire land. Then I said, O oh, Sovereign Lord, please stop or we will not survive, for, the, for Israel is so small. Then the Lord relented from this plan, too. I will not do that either, said the Sovereign Lord. A vision of the plume line. Now the plume line, the parable for the plume line is, is God, God is measuring the foundations of the heavens for the throne on earth. Then he showed me another vision. I saw the Lord standing beside a wall that had been built using a plume line. He was using a plume line to see if it was still straight. And the Lord said to me, Amos, what do you see? I answered a plume line. The Lord replied, I will test my people with this plume line. I will no longer ignore all their sins. The pagan shrines of your ancestors will be ruined and the temples of Israel will be destroyed. I will bring the dynasty of King Jeroboam to a sudden end. Amos and Amaziah. Then Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent a message to Jeroboam, king of Israel. Amos is hatching a plot against you right here on your very doorstep. What he is saying is intolerable. He is saying Jeroboam will soon be killed and the people of Israel will be sent away into exile. Then Amaziah sent orders to Amos, Get out of here, you prophet. Go on back to the land of Judah and earn your living by prophesying there. Prophesying there. Don't bother us with your prophecies here in Bethel. This is the king's sanctuary and the nation national place of worship. But Amos replied, I'm not a professional prophet, and I was never trained to be one. I'm just a shepherd, and I take care of sycamore fig trees, meaning I'm a shepherd that takes care of the people. But the Lord called me away the people that are beginning to learn the word of God and accepting Jesus Christ. Let's continue. But the Lord called me away from my flock and told me, Go and prophesy to my people in Israel. Now then, listen to this message from the Lord. You say, Don't prophesy against Israel. Stop preaching against my people. But this is what the Lord says. Your wife will become a prostitute in the city, and your sons and daughters will be killed. Your land will be divided up, and your you yourselves, you yourself will die in a foreign land. And the people of Israel will certainly become captives in exile, far from their homeland. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.